in Valencia for a while now and it's time to tackle boat projects. And that's always fun because we take days to do the most basic things. Mind you, if you're expecting some Delos great information on how to mix your epoxy, no, not here. You will not learn anything in this video, you're basically just watching our futile efforts of getting the most simple things done. Although later in the video we have a major win getting an anode on the prop. Stick around! Welcome to this year's boat job week. It's the favorite job week of the year, at least for me. It means one week full of boat jobs. We'll probably include some diving in November. Sometimes I really don't know what's wrong with us not fixing something that's important right away. This was bothering us for half the season. The gooseneck is the piece that attaches the boom to the mast and enables it to swing around. So there's this little pin that keeps the bolt in place, that keeps the boom in place and it broke. So as we were sailing the bolt started to wiggle its way out halfway and that twisted the gooseneck quite regularly. So now we line up that hole with the bolt there and we can just put the pin through the help. Yeah, moment of truth. That's what I wanted to say. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, come on! Damn it. Turn a bit. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe a bit more even. More? Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Solid. Test drive. That works. Yeah, it should be like that. Let's try again. Ready? Yeah. No. Now this will just slide in. No, it doesn't. Why? It's because we can't see if it's... Oh, I saw it fall in. You did it! There you go. It's through. Look at it. Down there. Oh, yeah. It is beautiful. Alright, so how do we... Such now we just need to... That's true. How long did we take well, fixing we, that? Actually, I just found this by accident today because I was looking for something completely different. A whole season. <laughs> Every should, time you I think we sailor. should order a ex few extra ones if we find them. Another job done! It takes a whole winter. You are on a roll today. Surely you can imagine this day was pretty difficult and debilitating. We didn't want to push our luck starting another boat project. The only thing we could bear doing was another batch of laundry. Oh, also, there was a fire. We didn't really know what happened, but boats burn fast and it's scary. We are going to replace a piece that has been bothering me since we got the boat. So this is the outlet of the cockpit shower, which hasn't been replaced in probably all 18 years. We broke off on the inside. There's plastic dangling around everywhere. We actually use it as an inlet for the solar, which is on the Bimini. Talking about dodgy. Yeah, it worked. So we're gonna replace that one with this brand new one and hope that the two cables still fit. God, I found that one, which is the perfect equivalent to the old one. What we always do when we open up something and close it up again on the outside, we put um, silicone on the screws, so when you drill them back in, they're watertight. Great camera work, Alex. You're a natural. We had a fight and I didn't want to ask Mandy for camera help, so guess what? Now you're suffering as well. Kidding me? It's not important. 
Finish the job, Alex. Finish the job. Job done. I also need a haircut. What a successful day. What a success. What are we up to tomorrow then? I'm gonna get into the water and fix the anode. We have one on the prop, on the back of the prop, that's totally eaten and we don't know how well the other boats are protected because if they don't have anodes, we're gonna be suffering even more. So I got a donut anode on recommendation of Dean. Thank you so much. It's a thin one, round, and it goes behind your prop just where I'll show you in a GoPro clip right now and it's a bit thinner than uh, the ones that I've seen but that's perfect because we don't have that much space what I have to do though is get into the water in November sacrificial anode Y all right here we go when metal surface comes in contact with electrolytes they undergo a ke chemical re what are the purposes of using sacrificial anodes they are used to protect metal structures from corroding they work by oxidizing more quickly than the metal it is protecting, being consumed completely before the other metal reacts with the electrolytes. So both people use anodes to protect their prop, their shaft and eventually even their engine from corroding. You ready? Today's the day. The last dive of the season! Expect beautiful underwater footage of this very special place in Spain, Valencia Marina. Most likely you will see me fiddling around with these zinc anodes that goes around the shaft behind the prop and then just closes up here. So that would should hold for the next season and especially for the winter months, especially if we're in the marina and there are boats next to us. It is almost the end of november we could have done it before but we didn't think about it so now i have to go into the water it's very cold today the problem doing this underwater is probably that i will float to the surface again so i have to hold myself somehow then get this around and then don't drop these screws so my idea is that i'm going to put these into place and use some silicone to hold them there Let's see if that's a good idea. So I'm just putting these here. I think it's a good idea. That one too. Like that. Let it dry good for about 10 minutes. I'm a bit scared for you though. Yeah, me too. We'll make it really cool, you know, I'm just gonna, we make a really nice, then I run from the end of the pier and then I jump in really cool, you know, and then I just attach it like it's not a problem. Tell everyone how simple these, these things and how much money you can save if you don't get a professional diver to do it. If it doesn't end up on the bottom and you have to buy a new one and wait another three days. <laughs> I lose it. I have to dive seven meters. <laughs> While Alex is waiting for the silicone to dry, I am preparing a couple of things because I don't want to repeat what happened in April. So you had to go in the water because of a line in the prop and then we got into a cold shock, which was not really fun. I am boiling hot water to make a hot water bottle, a big one. I am preparing the shower, make sure the water is hot. I am actually going to put the heater in the shower, so it's going to be really warm in there. And I prepare blankets and everything and then hope he'll be okay and we can dry him off and get him hot right when he comes out of the water so what do you got over there a uh, air pressure pump from a friend of ours with a hose and a mouthpiece so i can actually breathe up to three meters deep the prop is only just below the surface let's see if i freeze to death you can do it uh it's okay. It's alright. I can see it. It's good. 
reminds me of when we went when I dove the anchor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we just anchored in um, seven meters of water and I'm gonna check if the anchor sits well. How cold is that? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, it's good. The anchor sits very well. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Try it out. Uh, uh. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna try to get to the to the prop first without the pieces. Can you give me the brush? The bronze brush? I shouldn't worry because he's fine but he stays under there long and the water's really cold and I'm wearing a hat look at me it was covered with a layer of some paint and for that thing to work it has to be on the metal it has to be it has to you know have contact conduce that anode needs contact with the shaft not with the paint of the shaft so I scrubbed everything away okay He's shivering like crazy. You right? So I am worried a bit. We need the screw. We need the screw, we fix. Yeah. Alright, here it comes. He just went under the boat with the whole piece, with the whole donut, and he took the first screw. We put a little bit of silicone on one of the halves. So we can maybe like pinch it together, see if that holds, so I can have two hands again for the first screw. But that didn't work because on the water it does not stick. I'm such a good filmmaker. <laughs> oh, that's good. You can't see anything. Done. That's it. You made it. On a scale of one to ten, how cold are you? You're probably ten degrees. Come, let's get you out. Don't don't burn yourself. It's hot. How is it warm? Yeah. Good. Here's some tea with Greek rum. Well, thank you. Such a good filmmaker. <laughs> I had to turn it down more. I didn't do it. Why didn't I do it? I have to do it again. Proud of you. To do it again. Yeah, it's pretty good. Easy, easy. This was actually a 15 minute job. E yeah, it was a 15 minute job. Yeah. Because after 15 minutes, you can't use the, uh, air, compressor. the air compressor anymore. You have to give it some time. And we made it in 15. Easy. Wow. What an emotional roller coaster. Watch this video to find out how Mandy feels like living on a boat. Subscribe here to let us know if you enjoy these videos.